Hey guys, hope you had a great weekend. Uh, the workout for Monday is a little preparation for Murph. Murph is a week away, Memorial Day. Um, so an opportunity to practice putting those movements together. Uh, I think the reps work out to about 60% of the total reps in Murph. It'll be the same amount of running, two miles total. Um, just a slightly different format, just to practice putting them all together. Um, without too much redundancy. So it'll start with a half mile run, 800 meters. Then you're gonna do 20 pull-ups, 40 push-ups, 60 squats, just one time. Run another 800 meters. Then you're gonna do two sets of 10 pull-ups, 20 push-ups, and 30 squats. Run 800 meters. And then four sets of five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 squats. And then finish up with another last 800 meter run. Uh, the warm-up will just be to warm up the movements, of course, stretch out, loosen up, run a little bit, a couple hundred meters, uh, practice some pull-ups, push-ups, squats, as many as needed. Obviously, you have many to go, so don't go crazy there. Just warm them up so that they're good to go, and then run another 200 meters. Uh, the scaling option for pull-ups, if you don't have access to a pull-up bar, or I guess if you do have access to a pull-up bar, you can scale the reps down. I think it's 60 total reps of pull-ups, uh, so scale accordingly. The uh, options, if you don't have a pull-up bar, would be a table pull-up. We've demonstrated that before. Um, if you need a reminder, just uh, give a shout of what that looks like, or some variation of a bent-over row. So if you have a dumbbell or dumbbells or a barbell, um, or even a backpack or a plate, you can just perform bent-over rows. Uh, with the torso parallel to the ground, pull whatever it is that you're pulling up into your belly. Uh, and I would just keep the reps the same. That'll probably be adequate unless the weight you have is particularly light. You can maybe bump it up to seven or eight or even ten. Um, I think that pretty much covers everything. I don't know if I need to demonstrate any of these movements. They're all pretty straightforward. For the pull-ups, if you have the ability to perform kipping pull-ups... And you have a sturdy pull-up bar, go for it. Um, if not, obviously just perform them strict. And I think that's it. Reach out with questions. We'll have our normal uh, Zoom class scheduled tomorrow. And hope to see some of you guys there. See you guys. Good night.